time stopped in the year 79 AD. Mount Vesuvius erupted, sealing two Italian towns in ash, mud, and lava. The better known city of Pompeii and the seaside resort of Herculaneum. It was the vacation spot of choice for wealthy Romans. In 1752, workers excavating Herculaneum uncovered a large villa and discovered what appeared to be sticks of charcoal in large quantities. What they really had found were 2,000-year-old scrolls of ancient works on papyrus rolls, all carbonized by an indiscriminate pyroclastic flow from Vesuvius. To the naked eye, they are nothing more than black, crumbly paper. But thanks to a process developed by NASA called multispectral imaging, words suddenly appear from the blackness and read like yesterday's newspaper. Using a visible filter, this is the image we're getting. Uh, very little writing. Now I'm going to stop the camera. We're going to take a look at the very same scroll taken with an, an ultra, uh, infrared filter. This same fragment now taken with a thousand nanometer filter. So now we have the text that's perfectly readable as if it was relatively recently written. And it's opened up a treasure trove of literature for classical scholars to examine. The writings are believed to be that of first century BC philosopher Philodemus. Some are in Greek, others in Latin. Since 1999, researchers from Brigham Young University have been examining the scrolls at the historic National Library in Naples, Italy. In that time, the BYU team has carefully exposed nearly a thousand scrolls to the multispectral process and collected more than 20,000 images. Scholars believe that this same Herculaneum villa may contain in its library the written words of Aristotle and other Greek and Latin authors. In the meantime, researchers and historians at Brigham Young are creating a digital archive of the texts. And it's a good thing. The scrolls have kept their secrets for more than two millennia. And despite the best conservation efforts, they are rapidly being lost to the volcano again.